Rory G. Don, aka Glock Lesnar, the victorious one. You feel me? Back in with another video. You know what I'm saying? Um, bro. Anyways, uh, it's coming to y'all today on a serious topic. Not too serious, you feel me? But I've just been noticing this a lot. You feel me? And uh, y'all let me know if y'all feel like this too. Like, uh, you know, because I wouldn't say I'm a top gunner, you feel me, for this gun ish. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm still fairly well new. I would say I'm like intermediate, you know. I'm not rich, so I can't get all the guns I want, you know. My goal is to be like a black Rambo, you feel me? But, uh, you know, it steps to it, you feel me? Uh, but like I said, what I really wanted to get into was, you know, with what's all going on in our nation, our country, blase, blase, what's been going on in Chicago for its violence going up and stuff. A lot of people have been going out and getting them guns and going to get licensed or going to get concealed carry because they had a FOID, but now they feel like they have to have a gun all the time. So I said that to say this, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of people out there asking, oh, what's the first gun I should buy? Should I get this? Should I get that? And I feel like this, you know, if you're a woman, I've been saying this, like for women, if a woman asks about a gun, it's nine, out, nine times out of 10, this is what you're gonna see. If a woman hops on and she's like, oh, what, guys, what's the first gun I get? It's about to be like 20 niggas up under her post telling her about 50 guns. She has no idea what the f they are and what the fuck they do. Uh, <laughs> they gonna send them a hundred guns. And I've been noticing too, I guess the males have been kind of sexist because just because, I, let me get to it. Just cause she a woman don't mean she want a compact gun, bro. Or it don't mean she needs a small gun. It's a woman out there shooting a lot better than us. You feel me? Like, uh, and we, it's a lot of sisters too. That's really getting down and excuse me, charging to my head, not to my heart. Because I follow a lot of these females on my Instagrams and stuff like that. You know, like my sister's keepers, my sister keepers defense, or I believe that's the name. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but it's a lot of them out there, uh, like Van Letha, and it's a plethora of other females. Uh, Lena, it's it's just a plethora of females that do this and do it well and know exactly what they're talking about. Shout out to I believe it's what Yoko out there too, but you know they really get into it, bro. So to sit up there and say just because she's a woman, she needs a small, cute gun. I'll get you a pink little tourist or something. But back to why I was getting that. So now that's for the women. So the women are getting kind of teed off because they're getting directed to compact guns just because they're women or just because anatomy, uh, excuse me, I was about to say anatomy. Uh, now nah, that ain't the right word, but just because of their physical, you feel me? And don't think all women are just you know, these women, man, there's some women out here that'll whoop your ass. I'm from Chicago. They get down on your ass, you feel me? But to keep it to the point, you know, and why I'm explaining why that you don't always recommend a woman a compact gun is because of this. Um, compact guns are nice, and they're nice because you could seal. These are all the pluses or the pros on why they're saying this. So the pluses is they fit in your hand, they're highly concealable, you can throw them in your pocket, blase, blase, you feel me? And they're thinking, you know, they they probably don't mean wrong, but they're thinking, oh, well, you know, they probably fit better in our hand. Okay, I get that, but look, the thing about small guns, depending on the make or the model, blah, 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 sometimes they tend to have a lot higher recoil as opposed to a, a full-size handgun like this. Uh, depending on, like I said, the brand. So sometimes that kick, the woman won't like the kick as much. And you'll see it in the videos, you know, uh, when they're shooting these smaller guns, they're like, dang, like I didn't think this was gonna do that because they're thinking in their head is smaller. So it's, it's still a nine millimeter, you know what I'm saying? Or depending on what caliber you're using. So I said that to say this, yes, compact is nice, but compact is basically go with what works for you. Excuse me. Meaning, go to the range if you don't know. Talk to the people at the range because they're highly knowledgeable. Ask them about uh, shooting. Ask them about what was the first guns that they fell in love with and why. Ask them, uh, would you? What are you? Uh, the pros and cons of a full size handgun to a, a compact. Ask them. Uh, you know, tell them you you want to kind of 
test out both so you can contrast. So they'll give you maybe something small like this, a tourist or or easy, uh M and P easy, you know what I'm saying? Something like along those lines, or a P a SIG P three sixty five or three two nine, something like that, compact, you know, versus a nineteen X, a seventeen, you know, or or, or a, you know, getting up into big, bigger calibers, a forty five, you know, a F and X forty five, you know. Because even with this, this doesn't have that much recoil. It's a 45, and because of how good the gun is and how it was made, it doesn't have much recoil. So something like this is perfect for me. A Glock 19X. It has the 17 hand. I have big hands, so it has the 17 grip, excuse me, and the 19 smaller slide, the more compact slide. So it's a beautiful uh, carry gun. So I carry this most of the time, and it holds a lot of, you know, so I carry that a lot of the time. And it feels really good in my hand. And this is something that I learned. I learned that mid-size to full-size handguns feel better in my hand than the small because the Tourist, I wanna get the extra, uh, the, the magazine that comes with the plus two so I can have a better pinky feel. I do not like that. Yes, it's great. I carry this when I'm going out and I don't wanna have something too bulky or showing. And I have this concealed and it, it works very good. and. You know, but it's not my ideal. And I live in Chicago. Nine times out of 10, if you get in this situation, the person on the opposing end is gonna have more bullets than you. And that's just a fact. Uh, but this is the gun I actually fell in love with. Also, I learned that I like heavy guns. This gun shoots like butter. When I get into it, and it shoots better, the more you're into it. So the faster you're shooting with this gun, the more control you have over it. So unlike the, the small difference in these two, I they feel similar, but this one because of the weight and the way the recoil is distributed and probably because it's a double single action, I just feel it. I actually feel the gun a lot better. Like I really feel it. So I really get into it when I'm getting my pulls and I can really keep it on target as I'm getting those pulls. As opposed to my Glock, I really have to concentrate because of the polymer frame and it being lighter, yes, you do feel a little bit more recoil. So I have to, it's a, you know, but muscle memory will help that. So more practice, the more you can get down on that. Uh, but like I said, the premise of this video is just to tell you that, yes, there will be some people with a lot more knowledge with you, but sometimes it's too much. Sometimes they give it to you and that's not what you needed yet. So yeah, if somebody asks you, hey, what gun? I have a plethora of guns, but you know what time, most of the times what I say before I even give them any guns to look at, I ask them what do they want it for? You know, because if this is a beginner, they're getting at home for either A, home defense, if they don't have a concealed carry yet, or they're getting it for both, so home and a carry. Now, if you're getting both, you know, it's, it. this all varies. Like if somebody wants something for home, I'm not gonna just, I have to know more. So your purpose. Okay, so like if say uh, your first time buyer, hey man, I wanna get something for home, but I also need something to carry. All right, bro, what are you looking for though? Are you looking for something that has a high magazine capacity? Are you looking for something compact? Are you looking for something uh, higher caliber to get the job done faster? Uh, do you like, uh, do you prefer heavy or, or, or you know, light? Uh, would you, would more than you be using this? Do you have a wife? Is it a spouse? Do you have kids? You know, these are all things you have to get into. So nine times out of 10, I'm going into what the person, I'm going into the person before I even go into the gun. So that's what you do as somebody who wants to purchase. All right, what do I need this for? Uh, do I need a safety? Nine times out of 10, a beginner shooter needs a safety. Me, I no longer like safeties because why? Because I've been carrying so long. So I don't feel, I don't wanna have to fidget with a with a safety. I wanna go, I'm ready to go. I don't, I'm not worried about me messing up. I'm worried about me trying to hit that click and I have no click because the safety's on. I have no time for that. You got 1.5 seconds in, 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 in these situations to draw and get a shot off. And the person, the person, the nine times the 10, the person to draw first and shoot first and get a good shot on target is the person that survives. So that time all matters. I have no time to be trying to cock back a gun or let off a safety. No, if this is coming up, it's coming up to go. So that all matters. Um, 
now common sense if you got small hands and stuff like that no reason you should be getting a, a 45x i mean excuse me a fnx tactical you know is if you have small hands you can't actually grip this gun what you need to do then don't get it i have big hands i even put as you can see i put my grip tape on there because i just want to have that that extra comfort you know what i'm saying so uh like i said don't let anybody discourage you or throw you off or don't get offended by what somebody uh what they recommend you pretty much what i'm telling you is to put in the work get in those ranges see what you like see why you like it uh see how you shoot with it are you comfortable with a workout at home make sure you have somewhere safe to put it if you have kids make sure if you have a spouse teach your spouse teach the family actually you know uh, because you're going to want them to have knowledge of this how to handle it if it comes time to uh, how to be safe how to not touch it for kids because i've learned with kids if you teach them early the guns won't be a thing for them like they won't even look at they will not really care unless they need to or, or you're training them in at the right time so you know be open with our kids man uh, we're in different times uh be safe practice safety ask a lot of questions youtube research magazines everything you got naga you got uh the nra you got like i said you got all of these uh different clubs popping up uh women there's clubs for you there's women shooters don't think that all oh, these women ain't out here there's a lot of women out here shooting a, like i said shooting a lot better than these men doing a lot more than these men when it comes to these guns uh i, I even know uh, i even watch a little girl on my youtube uh i hate that my memory gets so bad once the camera comes on because i would shout her out too but i even watch like what she's like seven or eight now and she she shoots it all man so you know with the gun community it is a community keep it like that Help each other. Don't be scared to ask. People are, believe me, they're willing to give the information. So do your due diligence first, then ask those questions. Well, hey, I'm looking to buy my first gun, but I don't really like bigger guns. What would you you know, recommend? Then you gotta think of your price, cause price range matters too, you know? Yeah, I can go get a tourist for 250 or 300, but I'm sure if I go get that uh, SIG, SIG P329, excuse me, the SIG or a, a FN for a couple hundred dollars more on a 607, maybe $800 side, now have a way better handgun. So price matters too when we're talking about this as well. And not to say that just because you got a more expensive gun, it's a better gun. No, I'm not saying that. But, you know, common sense, come on now, you know. You're not gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that I can, you know. Why would I get ramen noodles when i can get fresh made noodles for you know a couple more dollars and be more satisfied and my stomach digested better instead of using the ramens that i can go fix the sink with you know what i'm saying so um, bro it's it's all levels man and figure out what you like what works for you what's best for you uh if you're looking to get something for home i say look look to get two guns because you want to get either a rifle or a shotgun just for home and if you're looking to carry that's going to be your pistol where you carry everywhere uh two get your family involved make sure they get licensed up and all that kids get educated and all that uh three practice keep practice uh keep your guns clean safe locked stored um dry environment uh st stack up ammo at least have minimum and, and this i i say some people would say minimum 2,000 rounds for each gun. Uh, I, I say, you know, being more realistic in the times and seeing that stuff has raised, keep you about 1,000 thousand rounds of ammo for each gun you have. And that's minimum. You want way more. You want the plethora. But that's minimum. You know, because think about it. You go to the range, you can run through 1,000 rounds 30 minutes to an hour. Like that. So think about that in a situation where you need it. Come on, people. Yeah, man, that's what I just wanted to bring you today. Uh, don't uh, just assume things when it comes to recommending people things. Really get to know them first. So when somebody asks you if, and I'm talking to the gun, people that have some gun knowledge or, you know, the gun owners that already have, if somebody comes to you and they ask you what the first gun they should get, ask, don't just give them something. 
ask them about them first. What do you like? What do you prefer? How do you plan on carrying if you're gonna carry? Are you gonna carry in purse? Are you gonna carry in, in waistband? Are you gonna, you know, what state are you in? Do you open carry, blah, blah. You know, cause it's levels. So, because it's a serious thing and this is something that's gonna uh, help protect their life and others. And, uh, you know, you wanna be safe, something that's gonna work for them so that, you know, they don't harm themselves or others. So, you know, ask them about them first. Then we'll worry about seeing what works for them. So then when you go to a range and now you're looking to purchase, before you purchase, you go to the range and you ask them, oh, I, I was, uh, you know, I was recommended the, the, the Glock 19X. I was recommended the FNX. I was recommended the FN 509. I was recommended this. So now you can contrast. So now when you get out there, oh, I like this one. But now you done shot the, the Glock. Ooh, I really like this Glock. Well, the trigger is better on the FN though, or the trigger, you know, blah, 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 man. You get it. Uh, but I ain't gonna hold y'all up anymore. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been another video on Bro. It's your boy, Ray Z, and I'm signing out. Peace.